Sometimes you may be requested to convert your fonts into curves by printing houses, by stock banks. So why we do that and how to do that in Affinity Designer version 2. The main reason to do that is simply to turn a font, a live font, into a shape. So then the final user don't need to own that font. But unfortunately, we cannot edit that text as well. So the main reason is to turn your text into shapes so there's no problem at the other end when people try to print this out or use your design, even without proper fonts. It's especially important if you use some fancy fonts, not popular ones, like this one over here. I select this text. As you can see, it's still editable text. I can see letter A in the layer panel indicating this is art text layer. Now I will need to switch to move tool. That's the first tool on the list. Select the text and then at the top right, I can see those arrows showing me additional options. If you're on the really large screen, those options will be simply on this bar. In my case, I got a bit smaller screen, so I got those arrows. And among those options at the very end of the list, I can see convert to curves. Click on that. And now we got a group instead of text layer. Let's open that group. As you can see, each letter is a shape now. Each letter is a simple shape. So we already convert this text to curves. We cannot edit the text, but thanks to this conversion, anybody can open this document even without the font. So we can simply save it and send to another person without worries that they don't have our font. All right, that's how you can do it. I hope this short tutorial was helpful. You can watch next Affinity Designer tutorial over here.